Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2. So part 2 we are going to learn how to design slides that will showcase the team members in your group and the flow of presentation. This slide is important to showcase the unity of your group, it improves your group effectiveness and it gives clarity as to what your presentation will be about. There are four parts to this slide. You have the title, you have the images of your group members. Yes, you have to take photos of them. And you also have the uh, names and whether they are speaker 1, 2, 3, 4. And of course, you have the menu bar. So let's get started. So we'll start with a blank page. We'll follow up from the cover page here. Now, the first thing that you do is to take photos of your friends and put them in the slide here. So I'm going to add the first picture of my group member here. Okay, so the, the first step is to crop. So click on crop, shape, circle. You're going to have this oval shape here, right? So don't worry, just click on crop again. And I would like you to move the top part of this frame here down until it forms like a circle. So maybe somewhere around here. And then click on this grey part of the picture and move the grey part downwards. So that way you're moving the image rather than the frame. Then you want to focus on the face, right? So you increase the size of the picture. Move the picture into the center of the frame, the circular frame, and click anywhere and there you go. Then reduce the size. Okay, and you're done. That's the first picture, right? So I would like you to just repeat this for your other three to four group members. Right, so now that we have all of the photographs, the next step is to make sure that they're all the same size. So click on Format Options. Make sure that Lock Aspect Ratio is checked. And if you want all images to be of width 2 inch, then everything else should be 2. Okay, next step is to align them. So move the first image until the red horizontal line appears across the entire slide. That means she's centralized. Repeat the same for the rest of the photographs. Okay, finally, we want to make sure that the gaps between each photo is the same. So we move the first blue guy. Okay, and then now the second photograph, make sure that there's a blue line that appears between photo 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. This shows that there is equal gap between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. Do the same for the last photo. See the blue lines that appear between 2 and 3 and 3 and 4. This means that they're aligned. Now select everything and move them to the center. Okay, now that they're all centralized, the next step is to add the names. So I'm going to create a text box, speaker 1, Jane, centralize, reduce the size and put it in the middle. See the red vertical line that appears? This means that the text box is centrally aligned to the photo. Okay, change it to railway and Jane bold it. Speaker 1, reduce the font size. Okay, and repeat. Copy paste, make sure that it's aligned to the photo, do the same. And we change the names, speaker 2, speaker 3, speaker 4. Okay, then we need the title, so our presentation, centralize. Railway, because the first slide is railway, right? So the second slide, all titles should be about the same to ensure consistency. Flow, presentation, bold it, centralize. Done. As but not least, we add the menu bar, copy, paste, and you're done. So this is the flow of presentation slides. When we present each speaker, we want to highlight their faces, and we also want to highlight their names and what they'll be covering in the agenda, right? So here's how we do it. You copy this four times because there are four presenters. Okay, and then leave the first slide blank. You don't change it. Now for the second slide, so click on the photo, choose a red border. The border weight should be four. And then we change the name to red. She's going to cover overview and causes and consequences. So make this red and bold. Now for the second slide, we do the second picture, repeat the same steps, red border, line weight 4, change the color to red, and he's going to talk about the existing measures, bold. 
and repeat the same for the other two. Right, so the presentation will look something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the flow of the presentation. I am Jane and I will be speaker number one. I will talk about overview and causes and consequences. Click. Peter will talk about the existing measures. Click. Mary will talk about strategy number one. Click. And Parker will talk about strategy number two and conclude. So this is how you fuse the flow of presentation slides with your script as you introduce each of your team members and highlight their faces and also what they'll be covering in the menu bar. Wonderful, now it is your turn. All the best.